I am back at it again with yet another top Funko Pop pick of May 2022. And these are, hands down, some of my favorite lists to make. And if you're wondering who this list is for, this list is for everyone. This list is for new members of the community, existing members of the community. Even the flippers are welcome to watch this list. And I hope that you enjoy watching this list as much as I enjoy making this list. And if there's anything that did make this list that you feel like maybe should have made this list, I would love for you to throw that right down in the comments below. And let's have a conversation about it because I'm not saying that I'm no Tradamus. I'm just simply saying that I've been doing this for a long time and I, I have a little bit of an inside when it comes to these lists. I'm going to get right into this list because this list this 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 month is going to be an extremely strong list and I need you to listen to me on this. This is probably one of the strongest list that I think that I have made in the, since the beginning of this year. Let's go that far. Since the beginning of this year, this is going to be one of the strongest lists that I have made hands down. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, this is the moment where we do that stuff that they say we're supposed to do, like tell you to hit that subscribe or whatever nonsense it is you're supposed to do. How about do that if you feel so inclined to? And if you don't, hey, I appreciate you anyways. Coming in at number 10, it's going to be two pops. I took the number 10 slot this this month and I put two pops in it because I feel like both of these pops should be in a two pack. I don't feel like they should be sold individually because I could never think of a moment in time where I went to a movie theater and only bought popcorn or maybe I only bought a drink. They're, oh, You always buy two of these guys together. So coming in at number 10 is going to be the bucket of popcorn and the soda. Now, I really like this soda because it has the Funko crown on it. I think that these are both very nostalgic. Very, did I say that right? I, it's as good as it's going to get today. <laughs> They're very like nostalgic when it comes to like the childhood and just going to the movies with your family, period. Me and my family really enjoy going to movies. Now, these would have been higher on the list had they have been like... Uh, uh, let's say exclusive to a movie theater because there's all kinds of movie theaters AMC Regal all kinds of theaters out there They could have made these exclusive to and had they have made these exclusive to a theater They would have been much higher on the list, but they are not exclusive to a theater I think that they're gonna be a Funko shop maybe exclusive. I don't even think they're gonna be a Funko shop exclusive I think they're gonna be pretty common to get your hands on coming in at number nine is going to be the second VHS or number two in the VHS line I don't really know if this is number two. I think we've already seen a number two, but maybe they're going down a different path in the VHS that I'm not 100% aware of. But this one is so iconic that it had to make the list at number nine. It's going to be the Godfather Walmart exclusive number two. This is one of them that if you were a Godfather, if you're a gangster, if if you're a Scarface, if you're a, a Mafia fan at all, you are going to have to get your hands on this one. Trust me, this is one that you're going to have to get your hands on. Coming in at number eight is one of them that, that it took me a little while to decide if this one was going to come in at number eight. It took me a minute to decide if it was number eight or if it was number four. This is one of them that I, I pulled back and forth. And remember what I said a minute ago, this list is so strong that even the nine and eight feel like they should have been further on the list. Number eight is going to be Thumper, which is just, hey, this is a box lunch exclusive. I think that this one's really cool. This is where he's talking about how big his feet are in the cartoon. You know, Bambi, if you remember Bambi, he's talking about how big his feet are, blah, blah, blah. I know you remember the scene, but this is that scene, and this is, this is a very iconic scene. This is a very iconic character. I almost believe that it should have been further on the list, but this was such a strong list that eight was where it landed coming in at number seven is going to be scarlet witch translucent now this one was a marvel core mystery box exclusive now i think there's a glow variant of this one don't hold me to that but this is so strong when it comes to the scarlet witch what wandavision whatever it is that you want to call it however it is that you see it this one is an extremely strong pop now i don't know that if it's going to go way up in value but i predict that by this time next year that it'll at least 
least be in the 50s, maybe even the 80s. You have to remember that we're in a strange time right now where society is kind of trying to balance out between gas prices, between inflation, so that the prices and the flippers of things kind of creep up versus skyrocket like they did a year ago. A year ago this time, they would have skyrocketed up in price and then they would have come back down. Right now, they're having to gradually go up, right? And, and that's a little different, but I'm going to be honest with you. The gradually going up is a lot more secure than the skyrocket and then fall, right? I mean, we'd much rather have the, the slowly the slowly going up versus the other one. Number six is a show that made this list three different times on this month. And I kind of didn't want to put it in there three different times, but I felt like this show and this character is so strong that it deserved to be in this list three different times. Coming in at number six is going to be Moon Knight. Now, this is a Glow Hot Topic exclusive. He's in this really awesome pose where it looks like he's kicking in midair, even though the stand's going up his buttocks because that's what it appears like. I hate the way they do these stands. I wish that they would come up with a slightly different way of doing them. I think that they should go to more of like, a, a, I can't think of the action figure figures where you can kind of put them around their waist. And you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Coming in at number five, unfortunately, is one that you can only get at Funko HQ. I hate it when we come out with pops that we can only get at Funko HQ because then we have to go through whatnot and different secondary markets. And I'm not a huge fan of going through secondary markets to get my hands on things. Or, or you've got to kind of reach out to one of the really awesome members in your community. There's lots of them out there. Reach out to some of those guys and see if they can go pick them up. That way you're not paying scalper fees and, and paying third-party sites. Like, what, it, what do they call those uh, uh, seller's fees and all of that nonsense that's involved with selling on secondary sites. So, so see if you can reach out to one of your community members for this one. It is going to be be the flocked marshmallow Bigfoot. This thing is really, really cool. And I'm going to be reaching out to one of you really awesome community members here soon to see if somebody can get their hands on one for me. If you can and you're watching this video, throw a comment right down in the description below and say, hey Wayne, I'll hook you up. Let me get on Instagram. Let me get your PayPal so I can shoot you some money so that you can get this guy to me. I would truly appreciate it. Coming in at number four. Uh, man, y'all have to remember that I told you this list was strong. This list is strong this month. Coming in at number four is going to be Homer Simpson in the Hedges. This was an Entertainment Earth exclusive. This is from this 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 thing has made so many memes and is from such an iconic part of the cartoon where he is talking to Ned Flanders and he's trying to hang out with Ned Flanders and Ned Flanders tells him he's going to do something that is a family only event and and very awkwardly Homer kind of melts back into the bushes and and this whole like meme is supposed to represent all the awkward moments we have in life, right? In everyday life, whether they're, whether they're at work or they're at home or, or wherever you have an awkward moment, that's what this meme is supposed to represent, is those little awkward moments we have in life, right? And it's supposed to be making light of it, right? And I think this is extremely, extremely strong pop. And if you're going to pick this one up, there's a link right down in the description below. Make sure you go hit that link when you buy this. This channel gets a little bit, a few pennies for every time you order something through Entertainment Earth through this link right down in the description below. It's the easiest way that you could help grow this channel and help support this channel. So make sure you use that link right down there. I truly appreciate it. Coming in at number three is one of them that I didn't even know was coming out till like two days before it came out. It is going to be Gandalf the White. Now this is a Lord of the Rings pop. I don't know if this one's been released before. This was an Earth Day this box. This box. This box. I cannot tell you how cool this box is. And if you have a chance to get your hands on one of these guys while they're still at box lunch, go get your hands on them. I don't understand why everybody has been sleeping on this pop, but I guarantee you that come next year when you're like, man, I really wish I had that gand off the white, it's going to be 50 plus dollars. You're going to be like, oh man, I should have picked that one up. Look, look, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Go get that one when you have a minute. This was a box lunch exclusive. It is a glow. Now the glow on this one is a little weak. Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you, and I like being honest with you, and I like you being honest with me. The glow is a little weak, but the purpose behind this pop is, is an extraordinary purpose, right? We can all get behind helping planet Earth, right? Helping Mother Earth. We can all get behind that, or at least I like to believe that we can all get behind that. 
the box is so cool that you got to see this box in person and if you're lucky and if you're simon that that won this one here i i gave this one away on one of the lives here recently our friend simon from canada wanted if if you're so lucky like simon to get one of these guys sent to you make sure you keep this one in your collection for future even if it's not even if it doesn't fit in your collection hold on to it for a little while and then trade up somewhere along the way but this is a really awesome pop coming in at number two number one and two are both from the same show both from the same show now i told you that moon knight made it on this list three times and one and two are both going to be different versions so this is going to be the mr moon knight which is a little different than moon knight so it takes on a little bit of a different look right in this part this is a glow walmart exclusive uh man i i can't even tell you how cool this pop is and, and and everything moon knight before this is over with is going to blow up especially for all of the people out there who didn't know who moon knight was until disney made this series it's going to get insane coming in at number one and last but not least last but not least is going to be i hope that i say this right concha concha conchai concha conchu concha concha that's how i'm gonna say that concha <laughs> that's, that's how i'm gonna say that concha concha it's gonna be moon knight's concha which is supposed to be like this egyptian god you're gonna have to just watch the show it, it's look you got to get past the first episode and maybe the second episode to fully like start to to understand what's going on but once you start understanding what's going on you are not going to be disappointed this is a pretty cool show and this is going to be bringing characters into the marvel universe that we've never seen before like concha <laughs> for example which is this egyptian god really really awesome awesome pop this is a box lunch exclusive as far as i know it has not been released at box lunch yet and if you want to know when these are going to get released to like hot topic and box lunch follow your local hot topic and box lunch on social media right instagram is normally the easiest way to follow these guys make sure you're following your local one because they always post the night before what they're going to be putting in the stores the next morning like concha they will post the night before when they get him in to let you know the next day that you could come stand in line outside of the door if you want to get your hands on one of these guys this is one of them that i believe is going to be a must not just for marvel collectors but for the egyptian the egyptian gurus the egyptian the egyptian the egypt i don't know how you say this but for the people that are into the egyptian stuff this is going to be a really awesome one for them guys i hope that you enjoy these lists as much as i like making them these are some of the coolest lists that i could think of and this has been so much fun making these lists with you guys every single month i appreciate y'all stopping by let's check diesel out before we get out of here